I'm Rick Stafford, and I represent the Schmidt and the, Petit and the Petito family. I have a letter that they want to send to Christopher and Rivetta Laundry, and I'm going to read it at this time, and then I'll take limited questions. Christopher and Rivetta Laundry, we are writing this letter to ask you to help find our daughter. We understand you are going through a difficult time and your instinct is strong to protect your son. We ask you to put yourselves in our shoes. We haven't been able to sleep or eat and our lives are falling apart. We believe you know the location of where Brian left Gabby. We beg you to tell us. As a parent, how could you let us go through this pain and not help us? As a parent, how could you put Gabby's younger brothers and sisters through this? Gabby lived with you for over a year. She's going to be your daughter-in-law. How can you keep her location hidden? You were both at Jim and Nicole's house. You were both so happy that Brian and Gabby got engaged and were planning to spend their lives together. Please, if you or your family have any decency left, please tell us where Gabby is located. Tell us if we are even looking in the right place. All we want is for Gabby to come home. Please help us make that happen. And that was from Jim Schmidt, Nicole Schmidt, Joe Petito, and Tara Petito. At this time, I'll take some questions. Rick, what do you make of, or how is the family feeling about the release of this body camera video that shows this fight between them? The family's not going to discuss any facts or anything to do with the relationship between Gabby and Brian. They were asked by the FBI to not discuss that. Can they talk yeah. about how they feel pleased with their Listen. The family is devastated. Every day that this goes on, they get more and more desperate. They, they're, they're at the point that that desperation is turning to anger. They know that the Landrys know where their daughter is, and they will not tell them. That's infuriating. Yes? Have they been able to locate her cell phone, and when did they become aware of the uh, I'm not going to talk about what the FBI is doing and what their investigation is. All I know is that the FBI and the law enforcement agencies that are handling this are the best in the country, and I'm sure they're doing a great job. When did, when did you know last week to the Laundry family, whether Brian, Chris, or Roberta? Um, I know uh, they reached out um, on Friday the 10th, and I believe again on the 11th, and the Laundry's uh, refused to answer those. They stayed s silent. And as you know from the Northport Police Department's press conference, I think it was yesterday, that Brian was back in Northport, uh, Florida on September 1st. So that was over a week later. Can, and you, can you provide a little bit more of a characterization of what the message was to the laundries at that time? I will not. I know they were out here. Their um, Gabby's brother had a uh, graduation from a local high school, from their school, and uh, she came up for that to spend time with their family. And then I believe on uh, July 2nd, they they began their trip. When did the parents become aware of the video? Did the incident on August 12th? I'm sorry. The incident on August 12th. When did they become aware? Uh, I'm not going to discuss uh, when they became aware of the videos or anything to do with the videos. Well, Thank were you. Were they aware of the incident? Wyoming. Were they aware of the incident at any time with August 13th, 14th, 15th? Were they aware that that happened? Again, we're not going to discuss anything about that incident. We were asked by the FBI to not discuss it. Okay, in regard to that presser today. Can you give us the latest on him? Is he working on some type of a church? Is he working on a bridge church? Um, Jim Schmidt is out in Wyoming, as you guys know. Um, he felt he needed to be there. Uh, we have family in uh, New York and in Florida, and he felt he needed to be out there to 
be the contact person, as well as to do what he can out in Wyoming. I'm not going to get into his specifics, what he's doing, but again, the whole Petito and Schmidt family is doing everything they can to find Gabby. In regards yes. to the Florida president, the police chief would be that uh, today. He said that Blanche's lawyer provided some property that they requested. Um, do you know anything about that? Uh, we don't know anything about that. Again, uh, I'm not going to comment on what the police are doing. I know they're doing a great job. Um, and I just hope everyone, again, pulls together and helps us find Gabby. And again, from what I've been seeing for the last few days, everyone is doing that but Brian and his family. In regard to the questions they were asking about um, ADD or not ADD, um, the, the mental OCD, OCD, OCD. and the um, conditions or the disorder that she was referring to, is there any comment on that? I'm not going to comment on that. Remember the August 30th text? Is there any other, uh, she had implied she had received a message on August 30th that didn't detail it. Can you talk about that now? I'm not going to get into the content of the message. I believe that's out there. It could be, but uh, what I will say is that the Petito and Smith family don't believe that message was sent from Gabby. And Mr. Trapper, they were engaged. We've heard kind of varying things, but according to the letter they were, were at the time of, you know, as of two weeks ago, were they still engaged? It, it's my understanding that they were engaged. Uh, I don't know if they decided with the pandemic. They could have had a wedding in the summer. I don't know if they decided with the pandemic. They could have had a wedding in the summer. I don't know if they decided with the pandemic. They could have had a wedding or the wedding they wanted. So that was put on hold, and they decided to go on their trip instead. From what I know, they were going to go to Oregon on uh, by October 2nd, and they were going to spend time there. I don't know what they planned on that afterwards, but I do know that since they were supposed to be out there until August 2nd, um, Brian's family knew that when he showed up on on September 1st, that you know they knew that was against their you know their plan. And again. When the police showed up over a week later, they already had an attorney's name and contact information for the police. So again, we're asking the laundry family to come forward and tell us what you know. Tell us at least where to look. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to say the family doesn't believe that was her with the text. Anything else? Thank you, Thank you very much, Thank guys. You. And I do have copies of the letter, okay. uh, and I can hand them out.